Hello everybody and good evening and welcome to Behringer for a sort of midweek um, update and the um, theme is going to be um, cast off for the sealant project and it's as it suggests um, we have a um, some beginnings of the sealant project and so I thought I'd share it with you um, we have a um, midweek update because there won't be a Sunday update um, this week um, I'll be in London and um, that's because today is my big 40th birthday so um, just take you through town oh um, one of the things I wanted to mention in this update and I'll do that very quickly um, Kevin from Penweathers had mentioned about me Leyland lorry and here it is and both the Leyland the white one that I have at New Shot which I will get to and show you because there's actually a couple of additions so I'm going to attach that to this video as well um, and this red one have both come from base toys and I believe it was I was told it's a 2007 model so you have to hunt around for them so if you're interested it's made by base toys so that covers that bit. Okay, so the first bit to do with the sealant project that we've done is um, we've now created this unit, which I've just made, and that was the desk that was over along here, and that's been since cannibalised. The chest of drawers has also gone, and the big main update is the fact that the first part of the sealant project is the fact that the dressing area it's actually been repainted um, into this Magnolia colour which was the original colour that I had when I moved in here. So now this bit is done, um, it means now that the work on the ceiling project can now begin in, er in earnest in terms of creating the framework because obviously before I could do the framework I had to do the painting so now the painting is now done which is the first part of it. Um, the um, next part can commence and it's going to be along that height, the same height as the unit over there which was cannibalised and recycled and that will run all the way all the way along here and down to that end wall that over there. Now I've measured it and it's eight and a half feet between that back wall there and the door frame which is just over there so I've got eight and a half feet to play with. Um, plus also um, we've got this bit of Conti so there's a bit of a width there so that can either sort of come come in a bit and then go out now the width I have to play with between that point and the door frame is now 22 inches um, across so that's nearly two feet not quite um, but like I said it's just the beginnings and like I said I've just created this out of the wood from the chest of drawers and the desk it's all been cannibalized but it's now created this rather well, chic little unit I think now what I'm going to do is there is a board to go across it so I'll show you how it looks with the board across so bear with me a minute now I've put this board across and as you can see it's um it's dead level and um, we use our London Route Master money box as a sort of level and um, basically that I haven't actually done this bit because I've been so busy painting the the dressing area that I haven't got around to doing it I was hoping to do this today but this will actually I've got some hinges for this and then this is going to just lift up and I think it's going to be cut about here um, just 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 inside here so there is a bit that sort of sits on top of that and then that will then go and lift up and then that will just sit up there somewhere and that's sort of the plan so we've kind of got the beginnings of um, of how it's going to work for the ceiling project I have to take the top part off of the town scene which is going to be um, the whole basically all of this that you see here is going to have to come up um, it, it's not a problem because all of this is designed to, to as you've, anyone who's seen my previous videos will know that it 
it's all designed to come off so um, this will come off and this comes off as you can see there's a section here and so basically anything to the left of that line is designed to basically be raised and lifted anyway so it's not like I'm going to have to yank it all apart so I need to get to the track work underneath um, that's currently running and it's like it's two parallel lines um, to see whether or not there's any readjustments that's going to be needed there might need to be some slight readjustments for when it comes out from that end there um, because one of the things is um, there's a slight sorry for keeping bringing you backwards and forwards there's a slight gradient here at the station and um, between this section and this back section here and it's a gradient of about I don't know half an inch or something but that means that the because I was thinking of actually taking this platform all the way in and under and around the back but I think the simplest solution is actually to create uh, an underground platform um, just underneath the bus station so if you can imagine it being just underneath that corner there as the tracks come around and that will provide access so any trains that wanted to go say from new shop out to the new section the ceiling C project end um, they could still serve Beringer whereas at the moment Beringer is just a complete um, terminus there's no sort of through lines so that's kind of I think the simplest solution that I'm just kind of thinking and toying around with at the moment um, so that's about it um, so before I go I will just love you and leave you with um, just a little shot of the couple of additions that I have to show you okay so at the new shot end and um, and the, the, the couple of additions is just another couple of wagons for the clay hood train um, I might still get another one or two maybe um, but they're just um, stacking up nicely so I've got so I've now got four um, I did only have just a little diddy two two set and as you can see in the foreground is the other Leyland flatbed lorry also from base toys so um, I have seen a couple of them on Amazon but I don't know if they're still there so anyone interested have a check out on Amazon I got these from eBay so you just have to keep looking if you're interested in these vehicles but at least you don't have to sort of scratch build them or anything like that they're already built like this so anyway I will love you and leave you um, and like I said take care whatever you're doing and have a lovely weekend and um, I will speak to you as and when I have more information to give you on the Celic project and any other projects going on on the layout and just before I go um, I'm hoping to have a how to tutorial on um, how to build trees, how to make trees I should say um, I've, I went to my model railway group on the Monday night, we always hold it every Monday night and I have to say if you're not part of a model railway group it is, it is a good source of learning um, a number of things whatever it may be and this Monday I happened to learn how to how to make trees and how to put them together it was something I was a bit kind of daunted um, by doing but I think now I've seen it being done um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at it myself and I'll probably put up a, a tutorial on it um, just in case for those who are a bit like me were a bit kind of um, anxious about doing it or not quite sure how to do it or whatever so look out for that and that will come within the next few weeks I would have thought um, so take care and um, I will speak to you soon bye for now